Well, it's all happening, just as has been predicted by many, uh, including myself. Uh, the details yet to be revealed, but uh, the coronavirus is upticking. Uh, so the claims are being made, so the uh, numbers that they're reporting. Uh, three states showing, I think Texas, Arizona, and I don't remember what the other third one have the highest uh, increase, increase percentages in cases allegedly. And, and, uh, and I'm not saying this thing is not really happening and all that. I'm just saying, you know, we're relying on numbers that are being reported by organizations that may or may not be entirely trustworthy, of course. You know, who knows? Did you bet them? Did I bet them? No. So we have to, uh, well, we don't have to, but we are reliant largely on what is being reported to us. Uh, not to mention there's, I think, 13 or 16 states um, that have, uh, you know, surges, uh, but th those three uh, have the highest, they say. Um, you know, so, so th they were predicting this all along, you know, the, the talking heads, uh, WHO, CDC, uh, et cetera, Fauci, all of the above. Have been saying that oh you know in the fall this is going to get worse and you know we're going to may die down in the summer well we're not seeing that we're actually just now in summer you know summer has just begun and they're reporting all these uh increases many areas uh cities counties states even are considering uh going back to phase one walking backwards uh, i believe cuomo there in new york said that uh you know, they have this, this mandatory quarantine for people that are coming in from hot spots uh, back into New York and that if, uh, if they don't do it uh, voluntarily that they will be uh, forcibly quarantined uh, and fined a bunch of money. So, you know, you can't work, uh, but you owe a bunch of money and, and they're going to quarantine you and test you and, and forcibly put you on a ventilator if you've got uh, symptoms and all this kind of stuff and and many argue that these ventilators are actually uh, weakening people and killing people and this kind of thing you know that's a last resort type of thing to put somebody on a ventilator if you don't know much about that to intubate somebody and and uh, put them on a ventilator that's a that's a big deal you know so so I don't know I don't know how this thing's going I know uh, there's a local hospital here around me it's a big hospital and uh, I know two people uh, whose spouses, I have two friends, two separate friends whose sp spouses both work for the hospitals, and I've gotten two conflicting uh, stories in recent weeks, uh, as recently as uh, yesterday, Wednesday, um, about the number of patients that they have, the number of deaths that they've seen, the number of ventilators there that are being used, you know, so, and, and neither one of these uh, spouses of these friends are frontline, their hands on corona patients. So, they are reporting what either they're hearing in the hospital or what the hospital itself is reporting, or maybe what their own observations are. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that they're conflicting from the very same hospital. Just like you see in, in many, uh, you know, a lot of the news that we're hearing, that is is conflicting about this stuff um, you know meanwhile we've got legislation being brought forth our potential legislation we're being you know they're bringing things to the table uh, legislatively i should say about uh policing policies you know in the name of george floyd um you know and 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 this uh, uh rayshard guy from atlanta and all this kind of stuff Meanwhile, the fire is being stoked on let's hate this other group or this other person or this other type. Um, you know, if you're for it, we're again it, you know, and that kind of thing. It's just such a divisive thing that's going on right now. And, and you know, and I mean, from the corona all the way to, to this uh, police stuff to... Uh, you know, injustices of all kinds, and, and, you know, the fires are being stoked for this uh, alleged systemic racism, which I don't believe exists in our country. Um, does racism, period, exist in our country? Sure it does. It exists all over the world. 
But are we systemically racist here as a country? I don't believe so. Are we inherently and majoritively, uh, as a people, any one of us, any group of us, the, the white people, black people, um, you know, Native American people, uh, whoever it may be, are any of those groups, uh, uh, you know, inherently and by majority uh, racist? I don't believe so. I believe that this is just a narrative that they're, that they're fanning the flames on to lead us to an ultimate end. And that ultimate end will be somebody's going to crack off and do something stupid in a big way, and it's going to cause, or, or something stupid's going to happen. I'll give you an example here in a second of just one possibility uh, that I kind of foresee. But they're waiting on a catalyst event to, to I don't know, to what? To, to maybe to, for martial law, perhaps? Uh, to shut down the election cycle, um, or at the very least, to make Donald Trump look uh, absolutely ineffective. You guys, I don't have to go over this, but you guys know how I feel about Donald Trump. Um, I don't think he's the, the, the big answer, but I certainly think he needs another four years. Uh, you need him to have another four years. I need him to have another four years. And the reason, I believe, is because even if he is just smoke and mirrors, okay, whether he's genuine or if he's smoke and mirrors, I believe his occupation in the White House for another four years is going to give all of us another four years to continue to get prepared to get things together before they really start cracking down and bringing down these, these laws, these regulations, these, uh, all of these orders that are going to make your life even harder and more difficult. And I realize that people are going through difficult times right now. <clears throat> So we don't need it harder. We don't need it harder to be able to buy ammunition. We don't need it harder to be able to buy firearms. We don't need it harder uh, to be able to find food and, and items, supplies that we need. We don't need them to cost uh, through the roof. We don't need our, our unemployment rate to be skyrocketing. You know, we, we, we need our, our financial systems to be intact. We need our businesses to survive. We need people to be working. Um, I mean, everybody knows this. This is common sense stuff, you know. Uh, the example I think that I've mentioned that that just this is just one possible example. Any anything you can think of that's conceivably reasonable could be a catalyst for the big pop that's going to just usher in, I believe, uh, a wave. Because I believe so far we've, this has been a test. This has been a test. This has been a, a setup, uh, a conditioning, a laying the groundwork. You know, uh, I was never in the military or anything like that, but I I understand. Uh, military tactics, uh, art of war type of things to some degree. And I know that you, uh, if you plan to, if you plan to uh, do a hostile takeover, if you plan to go to war with somebody, you've got to set, you've got to set the playing field. You've got to set it up so that you, if you're the aggressor, uh, have the advantage, okay, presumably. So here's one example. They've got this uh, cop, and I can't think of his name, the one from Rayshard, whatever his last name is, from Atlanta. I apologize, I don't remember the names. But the guy who, uh, you know, was fell asleep in the Wendy's parking lot, drunk, whether he was drunk or not, whatever. There's arguments about that. But they brought this cop up on murder one, and I don't think under any circumstances they're going to be able to get a murder one. Well, everybody that wants justice for the Rayshard fella, you know, and your BLM and, 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 and all these groups, uh, activist groups, leftist groups, you know, that are that are screaming and hollering and fighting for all this, allegedly fighting for all this equality, or not equality, but uh, uh, justice, because they don't want equality. They've already got equality for the Constitution, but I digress. Um, so this guy, what's going to happen is this guy's going to walk on a murder one, okay? Now he may not have his job. Uh, uh, his whole reputation may be smeared. He has to leave the country, change his name, grow his hair out, whatever. I don't know. You know, that's probably going to be the case. Uh, but he's going to walk, and people are going to lose their ever-loving minds. And, and I don't think uh, as much as the left and, frankly, the right, too, has tolerated all of these protests and all of this destruction and all of this these hate crimes that are going on against, uh, uh, by minorities against uh, white people, you know, which you've been seeing. 
Uh, and it's true. I mean, you know, just knocking people over the head in, in a Walmart and, and, and uh, pushing old ladies down on the street and this kind of thing. You know, that's so far has been tolerated and even and even. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? And even encouraged, you know, by by some on the left or by many on the left and some even on the right. But what's going to happen is it's going to pop up again and it's going to pop off again like that. And they're going to say, oh, no, no more. We're not going to let this happen again. And so we're going to put the clamp down and here's how life's going to be for you. And just like with your coronavirus and all of the measures that they want you to be in place and it's unknown how long it's going to go and this may be our new normal as they keep saying that will be your new normal is that clamp down that lockdown that potential martial law um, control it is a control mechanism control 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 so take advantage of this very very scarce and 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 uh, 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 important time that you have to continue to prepare, to continue to do things where you can take care of yourself and your family, be self-sufficient, defend yourself, feed yourself, um, take care of yourself medically if possible, build community, all of these things that I've been saying for a year and a half now. This is your time if you have not done it or if there's anything you need to iron out. I think I'm talking to most people now that are, that are already in this boat, that are already doing these things, right? Maybe I'm not. If you're not, if I'm, if you're, if I'm talking to somebody who hasn't started this stuff, you are so far behind the eight ball, it's not even funny. I hope you have a whole bunch of money and the ability to get things done very, very quickly. Um, if if uh, Donald Trump is elected for another four years, you have another four years, sketchy four years. But I believe at least there will be another four years for you to be able to get some of this stuff done. So just a word of caution to you guys, please get it done if you haven't already. Watch your six. Um, uh, some other folks say the same thing, but I'm going to say carry you know wherever you go folks are knocking people in the head and and worse so be prepared to defend yourself when somebody comes up and tries to kill you for no reason other than the color of your skin get prepared and do these things now i am the real world prepper thank you so much for watching me talk to you about this stuff bye-bye